Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. I'm excited to bring to you today this tasty batch of pickled peppers. I'm always loving to share some of our pickled recipes and we got quite a few of them up on Bonita's Kitchen and of course I will uh, link in some of those recipes. But today's recipe is all about peppers and of course we love serving them with so many different dishes. So if this interests you and you'd like to know how to make it, stick around and let's get started. is a tasty batch of uh, sweet peppers. Now, this recipe today in, was inspired by this package of 50% off, upside down, but it was this way, of these sweet peppers. Now, I got them for probably $3, but they make three bottles of peppers. So, one of the ingredients in there is pickling spice with some bay leaves and I'm going to be using the sweet peppers plus a green uh, pepper and like you said you can use multi peppers if you want to. I'm also going to be infusing in there some yellow onion or white onion. Uh, you could use either one of them and you can even use the red onion that's fine. But what I'll do first before I start cutting up the peppers. I'm going to show you the pickling spice we're going to be using, uh, the brining. That was a pound of peppers. I'm going to put my sliced onions in here first because my boiler is so dark you can't see inside of it. So that is a large onion sliced. You can also use pearl onions if you wish uh, put in there. This is a teaspoonful of pickling spice and I'll share with you all of the, uh, if you can't buy it in your store, I'll share with you what they are individually. We got one tablespoonful of white sugar or sugar of choice. We got one tablespoonful of pickling salt or sea salt. Today I'm using sea salt. We're also using, um, we're also putting in there some bay leaves, but I'm going to be putting them directly into my bottles and I'll talk a little bit about that. One cup and a little bit more of water and anywhere from two to three cups of white vinegar, depending on if you're going to be making a pound of these sweet uh, peppers. Now I'm going to be putting this on to boil. So what I got here is two mason jars. Now we usually three mason jars for this, but I've already put together one bottle, one jar for you to see at the end now when we put all these together. So this makes three bottles out of the one pound. So pretty much all you're going to do is cut your sweet uh, peppers into small rings like this. And for the full green one, because these little peppers only come in, uh, uh, all we can get, I should say, is the red, orange, and yellow, I wanted a little bit of green in there. Now you could go with an alpino pepper, which is the same shape as this, and cut it in rings. Keep the stones out. With these there, you can keep some of the stones in there. That's fine, because it, it's not hot. But you can just do these in just, just strips, that's all. So let's cut this off first, and then I'll show you what's next. So now these peppers, I checked the uh, expiry date, they're not expired. And even if they was close to expiry, you're gonna be pickling these, so there's no big deal. These just got a couple of soft spots on the top, but I'm cutting it in rings and I'm really not using the end. I'll use it for something else, but with, with this here, I only need uh, up into where um, you see all of those stones or the seeds. So we're just really cutting it in slices. I asked the produce manager uh, why they were marked down and I guess when it starts to get a little wilted, they just put it on sale. So I look for those sales because sales means saving money, eh, Raymond? Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. And pickling, preserving your um, pickles or vegetables. Um, we, we've done the same with um, 
with carrots when they started to go a little wilt. Um, so you can do this with any type of food. I guess in vegetables for sure. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting in those jars. So pretty much we're going to have a clove of garlic for each jar. Now I like the fresh garlic in this and that way um, you know you know you're getting um, the freshness of everything the, the vegetables and the garlic and just crush it like this putting it into the jar with a couple of bay leaves each I got this on there on top because I'm going to be pouring the liquid I take it off for now just to give you some view this here is just peppercorns them uh, peppercorn for peppers and we're going to be putting in a few in each jar and then what we'll do we'll toss in equal amounts of the peppers different colors in each one and when the broth is done there we're going to get some of those onions mixed in with it so you're pretty much just going to be mixing it up with equal amounts so you got that color you got that pop in each one and layer it so that you can see each one. I'm going to wait until my onions are um, just a little softened there and I'll show you that. So right here you can see that our pickling uh, broth is ready. So I'm going to take up equal amounts of the onions and of course again layering it with peppers, onion and continue doing that until um, the bottles are full. Now like I said these here makes uh, three jars of um, those delicious sweet peppers and if you're making smaller jars which is fine you can do that and then it will make more if you want it to do it that way. And I got like I said I got one done here in advance that me and Raymond has been just waiting to open to put on a nice grilled burger of course you can put these peppers on anything it's a nice sandwich you could put it on the side of a plate if you want to do a vegetable um, tray or a meat tray you can do that now what we're going to do okay after I got that one onion there but he's fine for now you're going to scoop up equal amounts of that liquid and pour down over including the pickling spice get that in there as well so like I was saying this is enough of a mixture that it will do um, three jars if you're if you're doing all three um, because it's the three cups of the, uh, the white vinegar and then we got the one cup and a little bit more if you want to of the water and that's all there so now i'm going to wipe around the rims of these so after you've dried off the rims you're going to put the lids on finger tight so now this is the type of pickled peppers I got a little ring to it, haven't it, Raymond? I can say, say that five yeah, times yeah, fast. Was, yeah, I was going to say the same thing, like pickle peppers, pickle peppers. I'm not pickle, going to do it, and no. you're not going to do it. No, no, we're not going to do it. Um, you can bottle these or can these if you want to in your pressure cooker, um, in a boiler. I'll share a link with you on how to uh, seal the jars. Or what I do, because I only make three at a time, I have a one, one pound bag. I keep them on my countertop like this and because the liquid is hot everything in there like you said I don't want for these vegetables to be cooked I want them to have that nice crunch everything is there once you'll hear those popping sounds on your countertop but even if you don't just label it put it in your fridge keep it there until you eat every every taste mm -hmm. and like you said um, you won't be disappointed but we got one done here in advance and I'm going to show you what they look like when they're pickled and I'm going to add a little taste. So this is the one that we done about a week ago. Um, 
when I got these uh, peppers and of course I just kept them in the fridge it's sealed even though I didn't seal it in my pressure cooker or in a hot water bag and as you can see it's it's sealed tight enough where when you open it you can hear that tiss um oh my gosh they smell amazing i'm going to show you what they look like i'm going to put a little few out onto my plate and on that delicious burger oh my gosh they smell absolutely amazing and do you know what these are good if you wake up at night time and you just want mm -hmm. to have a couple of that those nice peppers oh my gosh and just pickled to perfection i'm going to say and so tasty with the garlic you can smell it infusing oh my gosh and then like you said on a burger i got i got a, a burger there with um a breakfast uh patty and um i'm gonna say a potato cake on the bottom and then up top or I could say ash brown if I could remember what it's called. Yeah, different and names. Different names. And there it is. That is what your burger would look like if you made one of these. And this is your pickles. You can eat them all week long up until they're all gone for a month or more. I hope you're excited to make these pickled peppers. And of course, again, saying that five times fast i don't i don't think we're going to do it today but as well you may be making these already but they are absolutely delicious i'm going to put that word in there ever so tasty on all sorts of sandwiches and again i've put it out onto a tray of cold cuts with those peppers and they never last so i'm going to leave you this recipe in under this um, video link I'm going to also share it with you on my Facebook page and my website, www.bonnydiskitchen.com. And again, if you can't find it there, you can also send us a message at bonnydiskitchen at gmail.com. We would love to share it with you. And again, this is the type of pickling that you don't have to go all in and can it, get it all sealed tight. You can keep these in your fridge until it's all eaten. And again, if you want to seal it because you want to make an old batch full, I'll share the link to you how to uh, properly seal your jars and uh, if that helps you. And also I'll share with you more of our pickling recipes so you can enjoy. Of course, I was just after saying I can't wait to have a little taste and I haven't. So I'm going to have a little taste. Oh my goodness. The crunch the flavor the vinegar flavor with the garlic infused and all of those spices peppers and such oh my gosh two thumbs up i can't wait for you to make it and i can't wait for us to get into that burger and maybe a nice bowl of soup with it so we're not going to take any more of your time we know it's precious and we thank each and every one of you for stopping by here today of course, if you like our recipe here, you can share it with your Facebook family and friends and for them to enjoy it as well. But on behalf of myself and Raymond and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, you have a wonderful day. From our kitchen to yours. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door. Kitchen to yours. We need his kitchen. His kitchen. His kitchen. To yours. Yeah.